I appreciate you joining us for another study from God's Word. We're going to be looking in the book of Proverbs today at the verse that talks about a clean trough. It's Proverbs chapter 14. We're going to be looking in verse 4. Let's read it together. Proverbs 14 verse 4. It says, Where no oxen are, the trough is clean, but much increase comes by the strength of an ox. It really is an interesting picture, and it kind of helps us to think about a certain certain ideas. But to just look at the, the picture and, and what we need to be thinking about, what sort of points can we make from it? Well, I'd suggest one point we need to make is work is messy. And that's just the nature of work. Um, certainly, you, you know, I remember when I worked as a teenager at a fast food joint, and one of the rules that we had was C-A-Y-G. I still remember it. Clean as you go. And certainly you do that. You clean as you go. You tidy up as you go. And you don't want to be a slob. And you don't want chaos terrain. But at the same time, work is messy. That's the nature of it. And it doesn't matter what the work is. Whether we're talking about fast food. Whether we're talking about a factory. Whether we're talking about in the Lord's church. Work is messy sometimes to consider it. That is the, that is the nature of it. Yes, where the tr- you might think about that clean trough where there is no oxen, the trough is clean, but much increase comes by the power of an oxen. Work is messy. I also wanted you to think about what is the point of a trough. I've used this analogy before. Sometimes people will have dishes uh, up in a cabinet somewhere, and the dishes never come down. There, maybe the dishes are off in a box somewhere, whatever the case may be. The dishes never get used. That's my point. What What are dishes that do not get used? What's the point of them? I've heard of people sometimes having cars that they never drive. What's the point of that? And these these objects, for some reason, they almost become just... They, they just become museum pieces, pieces of art, never to be used for their intended purpose. That trough, it, it sure is clean. What are you going to do? Just sit back and admire that trough? What do you have that trough for? What is the whole point of having that trough? Surely it's not to just sit back and admire it. You might consider the Lord, when he talks about riches, riches being kept to the hurt of their owner, that idea of hoarding things of just collecting things, collecting things just for the sake of collecting them. What's the point? Use it. Use it. That's what the Lord wants us to do. That is how we are good stewards of our blessings. Use what the Lord has given us. That's what we need to be doing. A clean trough may be clean, but it sure is not serving its intended purpose. Do you want to increase? The verse says, yeah, where the trough, right, where there's no oxen, the trough is clean, but much increase comes by the power of an oxen. Do you want to increase or not? And we're not, we are not trying to, the the object is not covetousness, the object is not greed, that's not the point. But you might just consider, as you think about the increase, and let's look back at the verse. Look back at the verse, and let's ask a question. As we think about where no oxen are, the trough is clean, but much increase by comes by the strength of an ox. Whether you have an oxen or not, what are you still doing? Whether you have an oxen or not, what are you still doing? And my point is, you're still consuming. Right? What we're that the picture that's being painted is of grain. Right, as the oxen grinds out the grain. Whether you have oxen or not, you're still consuming. Okay, so so don't think that that this is just a static picture. You're still consuming. And if you're still consuming, if you're still consuming food, as in this analogy, then what are you gonna do? If you are not if you are not increasing, then you are decreasing. You're eventually gonna run out, is my point. Well, do you want to increase? You might just consider that idea. And and this is how we see to our needs. This is how we see to the needs of others. Is work easy? No, but there is much, much increase in the power of an oxen. Work is messy. Work is messy. But do you want to increase for your sake, for your family's sake, 
and for others' sake. And we'll say this. I was thinking about the verse, and you might just think about some excuses that people might make for not having an oxen. Some excuses that people might make for not working. And on my list, um, I just considered just a few that people might think, well, if you buy an oxen, what are you going to have to do? If you get an oxen, you're going to have to feed that oxen. And people, well, that's just another mouth to feed. Well, yeah, but you will increase more through the strength of the oxen. Okay? Yes, you're going to have to feed it. Don't, don't muzzle the oxen while it treads out the grain. Let the ox eat, but you will increase more. And again, we are not trying to... Um, the aim is not covetousness. It's not greed. That's not what we're saying. But to just think about the principle of... And, and I hate, almost hate to use it because I'm not a, not, the aim is not greed. To make money, you have to spend money. That concept, that principle. This is an investment, is what it is. Right? So the idea of, well, that, that trough sure is clean. Hmm, we might just consider the idea of investment. Why else might people, um, as you think about, not want to have an ox? Well, not, all, not only is the ox going to eat, but you're also going to have to deal with the ox's waste. Right? And people say, oh, well, the ox is just messy, and I'm, I'm going to have to clean up after it. I'm going to have to muck out the stalls and whatnot. That's true. That's true. It's going to increase your workload. That's what's going to happen. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, you'll have to feed the animal. Yeah, you'll have to take care of the animal. But it's worth it. It's an investment. Well, yeah, but it's going to require more maintenance. What if what if something breaks? You know, what if the what if things break down? What if the animal gets sick? What if this? What if that? It's a part of the deal, right? It's it's all a part of it. And again, it's an investment, and it's worth it. And you might just consider those ideas because a lot of folks, it's, well, what if this, what if that? Work. And as we think about spiritual matters, work. Work is messy. But it's worth But it's worth it. And people will make all sorts of excuses to not work. And I think that's one of the points of this proverb. Yes, where there's, <laughs> where there's no ox, that trough sure is clean. But there's no work being done. And the Lord of Harvest wants work to be done. Now, in the process of that work, will it create more issues? Yeah, and those issues will have to be dealt with. And that's okay. They will be dealt with. But much, much increase comes by the strength of an ox. Then we think about what the Lord said. All you who labor, right? Heavy laden, come to me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. What's the Lord looking for? He's looking for laborers. He's looking for those who are willing to work. So, the proverb hopefully helps us. Work is messy, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it in the end. Hope this study's been beneficial to you. I appreciate you tuning in for just these few moments in God's Word, a little bit of our daily bread as it is. Hope you tune in tomorrow, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks for being with us.